So, admittedly, I am a mere hobby programmer. However, I'm very passionate about Python, and I, it offered me a great opportunity to learn. And so, um, yeah, I love geometric art, and I wrote some Python libraries to help me uh, generate SVG images. So, uh, my first encounter of geometric art was string art, and I really, there was something very attractive to me about it. Um, in high school, I learned how to use QBasic, and um, that's when I started programming uh, geometric objects. Uh, but I knew there was a better way, and that better way was SVG. So I, um, at the time, I was learning uh, Java in university, but I felt it was not suitable to my purposes. So I, I learned uh, how to create some uh, libraries that work with geometry and generated XML nodes using PyXML. However, uh, PyXML went under, and um, so I decided to uh, move over to uh, processing. However, processing didn't really serve my purposes because it didn't store the document structure and it didn't allow me to access the styles of the objects. I'd sort of put the graphics in a black box and then spit them out in SVG and I didn't like that. So I returned and I updated my code and I converted it to L XML, um, which is the library that Inkscape uses. So this is a simple example of how to construct a regular polygon. Um, it uh, uses an object called path data to store paths, which are very important um, uh, features in SVG. And um, it build path outputs an XML node with some default styles. And you can add some style as optionally. Um, I'm just going to show you some things that I've done with it. They're pretty straightforward. This is interesting because this is actually, when you look up logo on Wikipedia, this is the image you get. And I had no idea. Um, but logo, I find, is very limiting. It doesn't allow people to learn things like um, how to use variables. And so I think that you know, learning uh, Python with graphics is really great. And um, so here's another example of flower of life image. And you can make it as large as you want, uh, an object called a cardioid. And um, this is some string art, uh, some paths, a recursive uh, Boxen. And these are some uh, faces I made. I, I make uh, geometric sculptures, and I made these as the faces for the platonic solids, uh, which I made into lanterns for a lantern installation at a lantern festival. Uh, I call this an offset radial grid. And um, I decided I wanted to be able to tile an image inside of these little diamonds. So I did so, and I created um, a an extension uh, in Inkscape, you can see down here is the tile, and it tiles it into that uh, radial grid. Um, I think this is a great uh, application for logo development, because you can easily uh, modify the parameters of your graphical designs. You know, say I wanted it 5 instead of 6, I could easily do that. So application for graphic designers. I discovered that there were um, um, exactly six triangles that had the property that um, their angles were integers and their faces uh, had a phi relationship in them. And I found that really fascinating. And I made art out of these six different uh, phi triangles. Um, I am a creator of three-dimensional sculptures decorated with fractal geometries. And I needed some clear boxes for my uh, product. So I wrote a program to generate the die lines for any parameter of box size. Um, this is a prototype for a light box that I hope to soon laser cut. Um, and I can make it of any size. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying that out. From this little seed of a gear, I was able to um, output a th uh, a three-dimensional object. I took, uh, I used my geometry libraries, and I exported um, 
I exported the mesh to Blender and I hope to be uh, 3D printing uh, this object soon. Um, lots to add, you know, things like Boolean operators and turning the style from a text in, into a dictionary, um, a live coding environment, much like a um, uh, thimble that allows you to code on one side and see your images on another. Um, and I'm really here because I want other people to use this. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who uses my quote unquote open source uh, libraries. So I'd love to have some feedback as well about it. Um, you can find out more about my project on GitHub, Play SVG, and that's my website for uh, three-dimensional sculptures. Thank you very much.